Hey, I'm Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Norm, we are here at TS 2012 Toshiba booth. This is a 4K TV behind us. Yeah, so we've seen a few 4K TVs Quite you know, a few. behind closed doors. Yeah. This is actually in the open. It's a 55 inch TV. Why is Toshiba, it in the open, Norm? It's because this TV is basically out already. It's out in Japan wow. and coming out in Europe. It's a real product. It's not like, you know, it's, it's not a prototype or anything. No. And it's actually not this one showing real 4K content. So, so they, what we have is 4K content piped in over HDMI. This is actually something that you could conceivably do if you had some sort of device that could play 4K content. Right, like, a, like a PC. Um, now, the interesting thing about this is not just a 4K TV, it's also a glasses-free 3D TV. Yeah, so, so has, there are a couple models here. Yeah, so 3D. they all have a, a camera on the bottom. If one person's sitting there, then they what they do is, it, there's a lenticular screen across the front of the display. Uh, they move the image underneath the, the lenticular display just slightly to optimize the image's position versus the lenticular display's position for your 3D image based on where your eyes are. So it only really works for one person. If you have more than one person in the room, then there are nine spots in the room spots. that are optimized for glasses-free 3D. And those range from like 150, 140 degrees all the way to standing directly Equally in front of the TV. Equally spaced out, pretty much. Equally spaced out. There are actually guides that you can turn on when you first get the TV right. to help you learn uh, the best place to sit. It's, it's like Mission uh, Impossible 4. Like, kind of, yeah. Not, uh, yeah the, the, ghost the, protocol. Yeah, ghost protocol with the eye tracking. Exactly. And then the fake 3D. Just like that. Just like that. But the lenticular screen actually doesn't get in the way of the 4K content. Exactly. Right, so on this TV, it's actually showing real 4K input, and we'll, show, we'll go up really close. You can, so I could see the pixels. Yeah, I could see I, I think, when, I, when I, think, I took my glasses off, yeah. I could see the pixels. But uh, stepping back, uh, this is the first time, I think, because with the 55-inch size, the pixel yes. density is dense enough that you actually notice a big difference between this and 1080p content. Uh, so down at the other end of the booth, they have 1080p Blu-ray, and then 1080p Blu-ray upscaled. The upscaler isn't quite as good as some of the others we've seen at the show, but it's very good. If you're sitting 10 feet away, you're never gonna know that it's a 1080p source. And the upscaler is built into built in the, TV. the TV. It's not in your Blu-ray player. Although, you can configure it, obviously, if you wanted to have a Blu-ray player, yeah. like a Sony Blu-ray player with Absolutely. upscaler built in. Pick the upscaler that you like. Get, get, get the good upscaler, get the good TV. Yeah. You can work it out between the two. Now, we, we talk about 4K TV and content stuff a lot, and the thing, the question everyone asks is, is it like the same jump between 720 and 1080? Yeah. I'd say I this think is more the, the jump between 480 and 1080. If you see, if with optimized content, obviously this is the best case scenario. Yeah. Like they use really good cameras to shoot the 4K. I, I would say yes. Yeah. Like you I, could see the strands of the hair, the girl. You could see uh, the, the, there's the, a cherry the, blossom. The cherry scene. blossoms are amazing. Yeah, it almost looks like. You, you thought it was 3D. At first. I almost it thought was it was 3D. So I, was, I was like, is this 3D? It kind of looks like it's popping up it's a little bit, but it's crazy. just sharp images. Uh, so the glasses free 3D is pretty inoffensive as well. Uh, it's a much more subtle effect than an active shutter or even passive shutter. Passive glass 3D. Um, I, I think it's fine. I don't, still not sure I'm gonna, I would use it, but uh, that's it's that's tougher to test un yeah. unless it's in a real home situation yeah, where you have perfect. nine dudes sitting on a couch. This TV, so we said earlier, it's out in Japan right now, and it's just being released in Europe. The going price is eight thousand euros. That's a lot of euros. How, how much is that in US dollars? It's ten thousand one hundred thirty-eight dollars. If my math is right, so I think it's a one to one point three zero. Yes. Please don't use right that now. as uh, as this a real. Is, this is not official. Thing. Yes. Yeah. So uh, for entertainment purposes. But it's only. A, this is a real device. It's something you can buy. Uh, maybe not today, but definitely second half of the year in the US. Yeah. So uh, Shiba obviously hasn't announced official release dates or pricing, but nope. the best part about this TV is that it doesn't look like a prototype. Yeah, it's a few inches. It's not a, a half-inch thick TV, but it's a three-inch thick TV, and it will look just fine. It's real. Uh, we'll be back with more CS coverage all week long. Until then, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.